Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a detailed review, make a pot of coffee, make a cup of coffee with the Mr. Coffee 10 Cup Combo Brewer. So Mr. Coffee just came out with this. This is a new release in 2021. It's a little bit different for Mr. Coffee. I was really shocked about how different this was, but this will do single Keurig K-Cups or generic K-Cups. They don't have to be made by Keurig, but it'll do K-Cups and a pot of coffee. So this is kind of a duo brewer. Comes with this 10 cup stainless steel carafe. Now it does not have a warming plate. That's why they give you this uh, double wall stainless steel to keep your coffee warm. It's not gonna have a warming plate. But then it's, here's your, your basket. It's got this something unusual for Mr. Coffee. It's got this, this extra thing in there and this is for putting the K cups in. You lift this up. There's where it's got the needles. You're gonna put your K-cup in there and you're gonna brew a single cup of coffee. And I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna show you that. This is a standard basket style coffee filter. We're gonna use, it takes a standard eight to 12 cup basket style filter. Now it does not come with a filter. So you'll have to put a paper filter in there here I've got a reusable coffee filter and it looks like it fits in there okay but it does not come with this so you've got to either buy a reusable filter or paper filters basket style so it looks really nice um, it's got kind of a it's pretty much all made of plastic but it does look really nice it's got this water reservoir on the back it's got a lid that comes off the water reservoir has got a nice handle to lift up the reservoir to go fill it up. It's got um, indications here on the side. Mr. Coffee decided to ship theirs with a, a water filter, which was, and that's a different type of water filter. Normally Mr. Coffee um, has a different style, but they're going to a more common style now that goes inside the water tank. But check out my first video where I show you how to set the machine up. They want you to run some water through it and clean it and clean the filter before you put it in. So check out that video on setup. Again, here's a little drip tray. Just plastic. The display looks really nice. Um, it's nice and steady in real life. I know on the screen it might be flashing a little bit, but it's got a big brew now button, which we're kind of used to with Mr. Coffee. That turns the coffee maker. That starts your brew. It's got a brew later. Um, that's for the coffee pot. You can set the time. You just merely come up here and set. So you got to be careful. If you if you hit these hour or minutes, it's going to change the time. It's got a strong button, so we'll check that out. And it's got sizes, and this sizes will change from cups to ounces depending on if you have this installed or not. There's a little there's a little magnet there, and when this brew basket, when you've got this installed for a K cup. That little magnet will activate a switch inside the machine. So now that I've got that K-cup holder installed, the display changes to ounces. And see when I pull it out, it changes to cups. So this is really nice. Mr. Coffee, I can select the amount of cups I want from four, six, eight, and ten is the max. So normally a Mr. Coffee Maker, it'll brew whatever you put in the in the reservoir, but that's not the case here. You actually have to select how much coffee you want to brew. Dimensions real quick, so it's about 13 front to back. Side to side is about six. There is no cord storage, and the cord is a two-prong, and it's two feet long. So the machine is only about 14 and a half inches tall, which makes it really nice. You can put this under a kitchen cabinet. There's no big lid that lifts up. Um, it's got the water reservoir, but you don't need very much to lift it off with. Then as far as how big of a travel mug can you put in? So that's, you can put about a seven, that's standard. Looks like about a seven and a half, maybe seven and a quarter travel mug. So from the pictures, I originally thought, I don't know why I thought, but I thought the coffee came down this, but this is merely part of that uh, pause brewing. So when the, when the coffee pot's in, it will allow coffee to come out and then when you, when you take it out that'll stop the coffee so it's got pause brewing this is a really nice um stainless steel craft it's got their logo it's got their name on it 
Um, it feels really nice. You have to press the button when you want coffee to come out. We're going to try that. And then you just simply turn it about a quarter turn and it lifts up. And there's what it looks like on the inside. There's the back side. These can be a little tricky to clean sometimes, but it looks like it's very well made. So the first part of this video, I'm going to do a pot of coffee. And then I'll, then I'll go into the K-cups and brew a K-cup. Okay, so I've got the water filled up to the 10 max mark. So I'm going to open this up. This just pulls out. At first I thought this pulled out, but it pulls out from here. So you got to put your thumb here so that that whole tray comes out. Then we're going to take this out. This is for the K-cups. Okay, so I'm going to put my basket style filter, 8 to 12 cup. Just put it in there. Make sure it's kind of hugging the walls. Now the manual says to use one tablespoon of cup you're going to brew. So since I'm going to do 10 cups, I'm going to put 10 tablespoons in. Now, it does give me the option to do, I can do four, six, eight, or 10 by hitting that button right there. So I am gonna do 10, so I'm gonna put 10 tablespoons. And 10. So I just put it right in the middle. There's 10 tablespoons of coffee, and you gotta make sure you've got this paper filter in. Now, it uses just standard drip coffee maker. Um, it's gonna be a medium grind. So we've got our filter filled with coffee, then we're just gonna slide it in. You just gotta kinda hug it, and then you wanna make sure it snaps. So make sure that it's nice and flush here. You don't want this sticking out a little bit or anything. Make sure it, nice, it snaps. Now we've got that in. Make sure your coffee pot is empty. So that's the only bad thing about stainless steel crafts is you can't see, normally a glass one you can see if you've got coffee in it or not. But if you've got some coffee in here, this thing's not gonna know it and it'll just overflow and it makes kind of a big mess. So now I can select cups. Again, I can do four cups, six cups, eight cups, or 10 cups. I'm gonna do the full 10. I can do a strong brew. We're gonna do that in a little bit, but I'm gonna do just a normal brew. I'm just gonna hit the brew now. That's got a little light that comes on and I can hear kind of a water pump that kicked on a little bit. The coffee maker is really quiet. All you hear is kind of like a, a water pump and the, the, water, the water in the reservoir is going down now. I'm not gonna be able to open this up and show you how it's brewing, but it has started to brew already. So it's a pretty quick coffee maker. So it's a pretty quick coffee maker. You don't get a, this doesn't get really hot up here. Towards the end, we will get some steam that comes up around here, but during the brew, it's, it's relatively quiet and you don't see a lot of steam. Okay, so I am gonna check the temp, so the temperature coming out of the brew basket. Looks like it's about 190. Yeah, that's about 190, we can see. And again, here's that pause brewing. So I could sneak a cup of coffee right now. I can open this. That plunger or this uh, lever will come out and stop the brew. And then when I put it back, it continues the brew. Now this coffee maker does beep at you when it's done. And I, I have not found a way to turn that off. It's about three really quick beeps. They're not super loud. I'll try to catch them if I can. Okay, so it's been about three minutes. We're all the way down to the four cup mark. It's still going. Again, the machine is not very loud at all. So a nice thing about a stainless steel uh, carafe or coffee pot is the machines shut off when they're done. Normally you've got a warming plate that stays on, but after this is done brewing its pot of coffee, the machine shuts off so you can just uh, leave right away. And I've done temperature checks on these stainless steel carafes. I'm, I'm actually really surprised how long they keep coffee warm. Um, they keep your coffee pretty warm for about two hours. I think I had about a 10 degree, 10 to 15 degree drop after about an hour and a half. 
So again, this one retails for $98 right now. Um, for Mr. Coffee, that's a pretty expensive coffee maker. But the more I've been using this, the more I, I feel like, you know, it, you're kind of getting a pretty good product for that amount of money. You are getting a single serve K-cup machine and a coffee maker. Okay, so it's getting towards the end. It does make a little more noise. We get a little bit of steam coming up around. We can hear the pump kicked off, and now we're just waiting on the rest of the water to drain through the coffee filter. All the water's out of the reservoir. So that took, at, that took right at six minutes, which is really good for a coffee maker. 10 cups in six minutes is, is really good. So the coffee maker's done, it hasn't beeped yet. So there's still a little bit dripping but you could get your pot of coffee. Okay, so there it beeped. So there was, what, two or three little beeps. The machine shuts off, so you don't have to worry about leaving it on. It's not going to um, stay on or anything. So the machine is shut off. Let's, um, here's your stainless steel craft. Now, it feels heavy. It feels like it's got 10, 10 cups in there. Let's take a look at the brew. Okay, that did a really good job. It did not overflow the filter. So Mr. Coffee sometimes can overflow their filters, um, it didn't even come close. I really like to see that. And this is, with, this is with the maximum amount of coffee grounds in there. So this thing was really put through the test. Looks like it got a pretty good brew. You know, the coffee grounds are still 192, 193. But I'm really, really pleased to see that it didn't overflow. Okay, so let's see how this pours. Again, it's got this really nice push button you gotta push, so nothing will come out until I push the push button. So stainless steel crafts, they usually pour a little bit slower, but they don't make a big mess. I, I, the more I'm using these stainless steel crafts, the more I like them. Let's get a temperature check. So 173, that's a pretty hot cup of coffee. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, it probably could be a little bit hotter, but that's really good. So this coffee is really hot right now. I've done a taste test earlier. It makes a really good cup of coffee. I'm very impressed with Mr. Coffee. This is, they've kind of upped their game a little bit with this machine. Uh, at first, I didn't think the machine, I thought it was kind of gimmicky looking a little bit. But I think they've put some uh, thought into it, and I think it's a really nice coffee maker. So again, with these stainless steel crafts, you know, they don't get hot on the outside. You can set it on your counter, set it anywhere. It's not going to leave a mark. Again, there, this is not a warming plate, so, and the machine has shut off. Let's go over cleanup now. So cleanup is very simple. Again, here's the filter basket. It's not going to drip on me because I've got that, um, that little plunger at the bottom. So I can take this over to the trash can and dump it out now. Okay, so I dumped the coffee grounds out. I rinsed this out. Now this part is dishwasher safe. Okay, it's pretty stout. It's pretty thick plastic. Again, here we've got the, the, that plunger on the bottom. That's the lever that moves up. Um, it's held in with screws, so that's really good. There's what the bottom looks like. There's when I lift that plunger that lets the coffee out. This also has another little plunger right here. And when I put the K-cup basket in, this K-cup basket depresses that plunger so that you don't need, you don't, it'll, it presses down to let the coffee out. So the coffee comes out the same hole when you're using a K-cup or a coffee maker. It's just when you're using a K-cup, you don't need to press this up over here with that lever. This button here, right here, is gonna press down and let the coffee out. So, looks very well engineered, very well made. Um, again, let's go over, let's do the K-cup now. So again, this looked odd to me at first. You know, I, I had never seen anything quite like this, but it makes a lot of sense once I've used it a while. So again, this is a K-cup holder. We're gonna open it up, it's got kind of a snap. Open it up. We're gonna take our, it's got a sharp needle in the bottom and it's got a very sharp needle at top. 
So be careful. You know, that, this top needle is really exposed when you open it up. Um, the basket does not come out. This is, you can take this lid off for cleaning. It comes off relatively easy, I think. Yeah. It's got like a hinge here. And then when you want to put, you just snap it back on when you're ready to. There. So that can come apart. Now they don't recommend putting this in the dishwasher. They just want you to hand wash this, but it looks like it's pretty well made. So when you put your cake, you've got to kind of do some manual work here. So you put your cake up in here. Again, there's the down and the foil goes up. You're going to have to pierce the needles when you press this. So I recommend just kind of holding it like this. And then, yeah, it does sometimes shoot up a little bit of coffee out that little top needle. That's where the top needle is. Um, so make sure you snap it. Otherwise, it's not going to go into the machine when you put it, when you put it in here. And then you try to slide it in. If this is sticking up, it's not going to slide in its tray. So there we've got... There's what the bottom looks like. The bottom, the bottom has pierced the bottom of the cake up. This is where the coffee's gonna come out and it's gonna inject the, the hot uh, water right there. And if we see, this is what the brew head looks like. It's this little rubber thing. And that little rubber thing should, and it seals around this part really good in order to make sure all the water goes through the cake up. Okay, so again, we'll watch our machine is on cups right now. It says cups. I've got the K cup installed. I've got it in the, the filter basket holder. And we got to slide it in. Make sure I'm kind of holding it up. Make sure it's staying at the top. And then make sure I snap it in. It's nice and flush all the way around. Now, I'm not going to use... You could, you could use the stainless steel carafe. But um, I'm just going to use a coffee cup. Okay, so I've just got a standard coffee cup. It doesn't have to make sure this, this lever is, is not doing anything right now. Um, so I don't have to make sure the coffee cup depresses that. Or, that's only when you're using the coffee pot. So I've got my cup positioned there. Now this changed to ounces. So now I can do eight, 10, 12. So I can do, it's, the lowest you can do is six. Six, eight, 10, 12. I do my coffee cake cups at eight ounces. It will let me do a strong brew. So we're gonna do strong brew second, but we're gonna do a normal brew first. I've got it on eight ounces. Now I know a lot of people like to get more coffee. They wanna put a travel mug under here and do a full 12 ounces. But you gotta remember, so a coffee cake cup, um, it only holds two tablespoons of coffee. That's the most a cake cup can hold. And I have found that Eight ounces through two tablespoons of coffee is it's just the best taste for me. But again, this gives you the option. You know, if you want a really strong coffee, you can brew it on six. If you want uh, more water in your coffee, you can do a 10. You can do all the way up to a 12 if you want. But again, I'm just going to do eight. Press the brew now. So I, oh, I got to add water. So if you don't have water in your reservoir, which I didn't, it's going to beep at you and tell you to add water. That's a really nice function. I like that. Okay, so I filled up my water reservoir. Now I can just hit the brew now for a K cup. So I hear a pump running. It's pretty quiet so far. Okay, so it's brewing my, so this thing is really fast. Um, maybe 10, 20 seconds after I pressed the button, it started to brew. So it's gradually getting hotter. About 178, 180. Again, I'm getting some steam around here. I'm not getting any water leaks. I'm not getting any water coming out in unusual spots. It's all coming out right there where it's supposed to.
I'm not getting a bunch of splatters. I get a few splatters, but it's a pretty nice stream. You'd be surprised. Some of these um, generic K-cup machines, you'll get all kinds of splatters all over. We're kind of getting that last burst of water through it. Okay, so it beeped at us to let us know. And there's our coffee. About 167, so not as hot as a cup of coffee. But still, that's a really hot cup of coffee. I've done, I'm not gonna taste it right now, it's super hot. But I've tasted these K-Cups, these K-Cups these taste really good in this machine. I'm, I don't know, notice that much of a difference between a Keurig and this. Okay, so let's open this up and see how the K-Cup did. We got a little bit of water on top. This is kinda hot. It's got this nice handle here. We're gonna lift this handle up. I don't see any coffee grounds or anything around, so we're gonna pop it open. There's our K-Cup. Be careful, the K-Cup can be hot. Okay, looks like it did a pretty good job. So I like to cut open, this is the K-Cup that it brewed. I like to cut, cut it open and see what it did on the inside. Okay, they're all really saturated, it's really hot. Looks like it did a really good job with the K-Cup coffee grounds. So you do get a little bit of mess when you're messing around with this. Um, nothing too major. I do like that the brew basket sits. It's nice and stable. It's got a it's got a flat bottom. Okay, so let's try a strong brew. Again, let's you can put this in, you know, you can turn it any way. Just make sure you've got the foil side up. And it might be easier if you you can poke the cake cup down first. So you can poke it onto the bottom needle, and then when I close it, I'm only poking the top needle. Okay, make sure it's snapped. You can see it's nice and flush. I gotta put it in the brew basket now. Okay, we're gonna line it up. Everything's working really well. I'm really surprised. Sometimes these things can, you know, they don't slide in real well, but everything seems to work really well. Okay, so I've got my cup installed, the K-cup. Again, I can come over here. I can do 10 ounce, 12, 6. I do 8. Let's do strong. And let's do brew now. Okay, so it starts brewing again within 20 seconds. So we can tell it's kind of starting and stopping. So it looks like it paused a little bit. Okay, so yeah, it paused a lot. So their, their way of doing strong is a, is a complete pause. That's, that's a little different. Keurig doesn't even do that. They run a slower stream of water through the machine, but they never really stop. So it looks like really close to the same temperature. Yeah, same temperature of water coming out, about 170. I wonder if it's only going to pause there at the beginning. Yeah, it looks like it's only pause. It does that pause at the very beginning, and that's it. Okay, so it's done. So their way of doing strong, it beeps at you. Their way of doing a strong K cup is they do a really big pause. They brew a little bit. And then it actually stops brewing for a while. And that might have something to do with letting the, um, the CO2 out of the K-cup. 
Um, the first, when you first brew coffee grounds, they need to release their CO2. So, and that's called the bloom. So this might be doing a bloom inside that K cup. All right, so I'm gonna taste, this is a really hot cup of coffee right now. It's a, it's a really good cup of coffee. It might taste just a little bit, a little bit better. I do like when uh, machines can brew a stronger um, coffee. They do generally taste better to me. So let's take a look again. There's the cake up. You do get a little bit of water on top. Let's open it up. Again, there it poked the hole in the bottom. Be careful, that can be hot. I'm gonna cut this one open. So it's, it's hard to tell if it did an actual bloom or not. Um, it's hard to tell. The coffee grounds look, look the same from a strong brew to a normal brew. Okay, so let's check the stainless steel. This stainless steel crap has been sitting here for a while. Let's see how caught. So how, this has been sitting here about a half hour. I do like how these pour, they just pour a little slower. That's all. Wow, that's 170. See, that's, that's still really hot. Those stainless steel crafts can keep uh, coffee hot a very long time. So this machine does come with this little reusable K-cup. Now it looks a little different. This is Mr. Coffee's. This is an aftermarket one. You know, it looks like it. They might actually hold the same amount of coffee. Just this one's not, this one's got a big recessed area. But they've got a place for the top needle to go in. It's got a little O-ring. So this is the one that comes with the machine. You can use your own coffee grounds to brew a K-cup. So let's try that. Again, I'm just gonna use normal coffee grounds, uh, medium grind for like a drip coffee maker. Um, perfect pod, does make this easy scoop, which is exactly two tablespoons of coffee. Okay, that fits in there really nice. Let's close the lid, make sure it's nice and tight. Okay. There we go. So let's put it, let's open this up. And so we get the, we put it right here, just like a normal K cup. I wanna see if, so here's the aftermarket ones. Let's see if they fit. Yeah, they fit too. So you can use an aftermarket um, reusable K cup. They're just a little different. They got um, that recessed area where this that needle's not gonna puncture the bottom of this because it doesn't ever touch that needle. So let's put it in, let's close the lid. Okay, I don't know if that's ever gonna break or not, but that you really do have to snap that. Okay, I've got that reusable cake up installed. Again, I'm gonna do just eight ounces. I hit brew now. So it reverted back to normal strength. So the strong brew does not stay selected. I'm just doing a normal brew. So the water has generally looked pretty weak coming out of that reusable cake up. So it's done brewing. So this just looks, it just, it's a weaker cup of, it's a, definitely a weaker cup of coffee. Normally reusable K-cups don't come out that weak. I'm not sure why. Yeah, this was brewed normally and that's a weaker. So I tried this, yeah, it's definitely a weaker, uh, weaker tasting coffee, a little watered down. Let's see if we can see what's going on. Let's open this up. Let's 
Be careful, this is all really, really hot. Ooh, boy, hot, hot, hot. All right, let's open it up, see if we can see how it looks. So it looks like I got it all nice and saturated. They just didn't brew. They just didn't brew the best. Huh. So clean up on this. You can see you're going to have to wipe this out. This has got like a plastic filter material here that stays with it. So I'm going to brew another cup. I'm going to use an aftermarket reusable K-cup and see if it does any better. Yeah, it's already looking stronger than this one here. Okay, so I used a re an aftermarket reusable K-cup in the machine with two tablespoons of coffee and yeah, it looks like a standard cup of coffee now. For some reason, the Mr. Coffee um, K-cup just produced a really weak cup of coffee and this was like out of the coffee pot. So you can see, this is a little weaker than a coffee pot out of the coffee pot, but um, it's still a lot better than this one. So not sure what's going on. So that's probably the one, that's the first weak point I've found, but you can simplify that just getting a, an aftermarket. These are about three or four bucks. Um, I'll put a link in the show notes to Amazon. But again, yeah, this is the one that comes with the machine. Yeah, just not the best. So here's the one, yeah, I used an aftermarket one, so it, it holds the same amount of coffee, just I think there might be a little more filter or middle, uh, more filter area for the water to come out. Okay, so I want you to see, we brewed about maybe what, five or six cups of coffee, so this thing, it does splatter. Um, when you're doing single K-cups, you do get, you know, some, not a bunch of RAM, but you do get some, it's going to make a little bit of mess. You're gonna have to wipe that off once in a while. Again, clean up. This is just this is a little drip tray. It looks like it got, you know, it got quite a bit of the drips already. And over here we've got the K cup holder. Um, you're gonna get some kind of. Um, you're gonna to need to clean that down in there. So get a brush, something you can kind of brush in there. Again, brush the bottom. That might get some kind of coffee on it and stuff. And and just run a bunch of water through that little hole. That's the hole for the needle and just run some water through that hole to get kind of clean out the needle. And if you need to, you can run a paper clip through those two needles to clean them out. So this video is getting pretty long. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to set the brew later. I'm also gonna do a, a bold uh, coffee pot I still gotta do. So let's, let's set the time right now. So unfortunately, anytime you lose power, your clock is gonna revert back to 12. So let's set time again. Just come up here and hit the hour button. Be careful, this does have, it has an AM and a PM. So that's really nice. The display looks really nice. And it can be viewed from all angles. So right now it is 10.40 AM. And it'll stop blinking and memorize it after you just let it sit there a little bit. So now let's do brew later. I'm gonna press the brew later button, set the time that you want it to start. So I want mine to start at five, 5 10 a.m. I can do a strong brew now if I want, but I'm just going to do a normal brew. Now just let it sit here. It reverts back to normal time. My brew later light is on. That lets me know, and it says brew later right here. So these two things let me know that this thing will start at, and if I want to check the time, just press the button. That cancels it, but press it again. It'll show me 5 10 a.m. is when it's going to start. Again, that will stop flashing. It's going to revert back to normal time. That light is on. There's a little LED right there, and it says brew later. Now, make sure you've got your coffee grounds in, okay? And make sure you've got the proper amount of water in. Um, I can change the cups. So if I want just six cups in the morning, I can change it to six cups. So even by me changing the size and the, the strength, it still says brew later and the brew later light is on. So I can change these after I've set it. Say I want to do eight cups in the morning. I would put eight tablespoons of coffee grounds in here and I could do a strong brew. So that's how you set the time and the brew later function. 
So I'm going to try something. I've got the brew later set, but I also put the K-cup basket in. So when I put the K-cup basket in, remember there's that little, um, that little magnet right there. It's going to, it's going to tell the machine that it wants, you're going to want to do a K-cup. So it changes the display to ounces. So I'm going to see if this thing will start automatically and brew an eight ounce. Let's change it to, let's do a 10 ounce strong brew K-cup in the morning. Okay, this thing will do a cake up in the morning. So this is kind of a nice feature. I've not ran across a Keurig that will automatically brew a cake up in the morning. Um, this was an unexpected find. So this will do a brew later cake up in the morning. Normally these machine, these duos will only do a coffee pot in the, in the morning with the doing the delay brew or the timed brew or the auto brew but this one will do any type of ounce setting k cup in the morning so you could have a single serve ready for you to go in the morning this is a nice feature in fact this is the first coffee maker i've seen that feature on that it will automatically brew a k cup in the morning so right now i'm just running water through it i don't have a k cup in the k cup holder um, I'm just doing kind of a, a fresh water rinse and you can see you should do these once in a while that that water is really discolored So it's a good idea to kind of run, run water through these once a week to kind of clean it clean out the cake cup basket Okay, so now we're gonna do a bold setting with the coffee pot. So I've got my 10 tablespoons I've got a new filter in there. I'm gonna put, put this in make sure it's clicks again my display says cups I'm going to do the full 10 cups. I'm going to do a strong brew. So the strong, the word strong is there. So the biggest thing with these stainless steel crafts, make sure this is empty. Again, they're very hard to remember if you emptied or not. So just make sure it's empty. Okay, so I'm just going to simply hit the brew now button. Okay, it sounds like before still. I hear a pump that kicked on. Okay, it starts brewing almost almost right away again I'm in the strong setting okay so it's been brewing for about a minute I haven't noticed it stopped yet okay so there it stops it's pausing I can hear that the pump stopped running there's still some There's still some water draining in there. So it's definitely pausing. When you've got the strong brew selected, it's not a continuous operation. It's actually brewing for a little bit and then stopping. There's what it did. It didn't saturate all the coffee grounds yet, but. Okay, so then it picks back up. You know, I didn't see that that big bloom of of um, on top of the coffee like I see on some of the more expensive coffee makers, but it definitely did give pause. So it it definitely paused. It shot some hot water in there and brewed a little bit of coffee, and then it paused. Okay, so it's been about three minutes. It's only paused that one time in the beginning. It's kind of been running continuous since that first pause. And again, so say you wanted to stop the process, you could just hit this brew now button again, and that would turn the machine off. It would stop it midway through a brew. Okay, so it's been about six and a half minutes, almost seven minutes, and uh, it hasn't beeped at me yet to let me know it's done. So it takes about a minute longer, minute and a half longer when you do the bold or the strong setting. Now, the only thing I did notice was that it paused at the beginning. It actually it actually stopped for a little bit and then picked up and then it was kind of a continuous stream going through there after that. Okay, so it's done. Let's pour a cup of coffee. Um, I've tasted this earlier. It, it's hard for me to tell, so 
It doesn't look any stronger. It might taste a little bit stronger. It was really hard for me to tell uh, the strength of it. Let's see how the coffee grounds did. So they look about the same, you know, at least it didn't overflow. Okay, so that's gonna finish up this video. I am very impressed with this coffee maker. I, when I first got it, I, I just thought it looked a little gimmicky looking and, and I wasn't, I've never been too impressed with Mr. Coffee Makers. Um, this definitely gets a Just a Dad sticker seal of approval. I am very impressed. Again, it's an overall plastic finish, but it looks really nice. Um, and they've got a lot going on in this coffee maker. Again, it just doesn't take up a lot of room. I didn't have high expectations about it. I, I But man, I this is might go down as my coffee maker of 2021. That's how impressed I am with it. And the only thing that it lacked was the reusable cake up. But you can buy it. You can solve that by just buying the aftermarket. The bold setting was a little bit, you know, the strong setting was a little bit stronger. Nothing too much. I love the stainless steel craft. Very sharp. Very nice looking. Um, it didn't overflow the filter basket. Not even close. Um, I like the water reservoir. I like that it comes with a water filter. Um, wow. This thing is very nice. This thing should be a very good seller uh, come this holiday season, this this fall. So thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to do a descale on this, how to descale it. I also did an unboxing, how to set it up for your first use. So if you want to check out those videos, thanks everybody for your support. I recently surpassed 5,000 subscribers. I can't say thank you enough. Thanks everybody for your support. Um, I am an Amazon associate now or affiliate program. If you see a link in my description, it will be or to an Amazon product. If you click on it, I do get a little bit of money from that. You don't pay any extra for the product, but it just helps me when I buy the products off of Amazon. I did buy this coffee maker off of Amazon for $98. I buy all my own products with my money. I don't, um, nobody sends me stuff for free. This is stuff, um, I saw that this was new in 2021 and I thought, well, let's give it a try. Um, it looked really intriguing. The most intriguing thing was, I don't know why the pictures, but the pictures made it look like this was a, a ramp. And I just thought the coffee was going to come down that ramp. But that's nothing to do with the coffee coming out. So, Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.